Here are some notes on the side effects of succinylcholine. This is a depolarizing uh, muscular blocker. The most common side effect is bradycardia. The mechanism here is that succinylcholine is made up of essentially two acetylcholine molecules that are linked together, and these can activate cardiac muscarinic receptors in the SA node. This bradycardia is especially problematic in infants with immature or poorly functioning sympathetic heart innervation, and it can lead to uh, profound sinus bradycardia. To prevent this, you can give atropine, which is a muscarinic agonist. Um, this is no longer recommended for routine use of succinylcholine um, in kids. It used to be. It's no longer recommended. Uh, succinylcholine can also cause junctional rhythms at the SA node uh, because of SA node suppression. Hyperkalemia is another common side effect. The expected rise is 0.5 in healthy patients, and it's generally well tolerated, but you want to make sure that your potassium levels aren't high to begin with before giving succinylcholine. There's a profound risk of hyperkalemia in uh, some specific patients listed here, patients with damaged muscle fibers, dystrophic muscles, and denervated uh, muscle fibers. There's also a special concern, again, in pediatrics because p kids that have muscular dystrophy might be undiagnosed, and if you give succinylcholine, it can be potentially uh, fatal, or it could lead to a potentially fatal arrhythmia due to the increase in hyperkalemia, uh, increase in potassium. Succinylcholine can also cause transient changes in some pressures in the body, specifically the intraocular pressure, your intragastric pressure, and intracranial pressure. Um, there's also musculoskeletal effects of succinylcholine, specifically myalgias, which are common, uh, but the incidence is really variable, up to 90%. It's generally unpleasant, but not severe, and it's very, very rare to have severe muscle injury um, in healthy patients. There are some life-threatening reactions, specifically malignant hyperthermia, um, and it can be uh, triggered by succinylcholine as well as by volatile gases. So if a patient has a family history of that, you do not want to give succinylcholine.